Hello everyone, and thank you for joining our session today, Often Trend and Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Protecting the Modern Workplace. A few things to go over first. Please type your questions in the Q&A box. We will either respond during the session or at the end of the presentation. We'll be posting a link to our survey today. Our surveys provide us with the ability to improve our processes, so we greatly appreciate your feedback. Your speakers today are Matt Isbell, Program Manager with Microsoft Identity CXP, and Athena Ching, Director of Business Development with Authentrend. We'll be kicking off today's session with Athena Ching. Over to you, Athena. Thanks, Melissa. To everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, based on wherever you are from to join this webinar. I'm Athena, and I represent Authentron to co-host this webinar with Microsoft to introduce a wide passwords and the biometric security keys as a better method to protect the modern workplace. I will start by emphasizing the importance of a passwords and the biometric security keys, and the Matt will provide some data research and it's a demo of a Microsoft tab features. Then I will briefly introduce Authentron the AT key and how AT key works natively with Azure AD to protect your identity. The last part will be the password as a power program we have around with Microsoft since October 2020. And I will show the video for the successful implementation story. If we still have a time before the webinar end, Mand and I will take some live Q&A or we will follow up with each of you after the webinar. So let's start the webinar with the key questions. Why passwords? So we are going here today to understand how passwordless strategy to enhance security, decrease IT expense, and empower remote employees for the identity. I believe you might have experience using any solution I list here, SMS, OTP, or mobile push, to ensure your remote employees won't accidentally get involved in phishing issues and put your company at a dangerous point. According to the data research, we know that the top reason to cause the data breach is actually from the stolen credentials and the cause by phishing. Therefore, it's the simple philosophy we can put here. If you can ensure your employees credentials won't be stolen, you can enhance the security and get protected in the today's modern workplace. So let's see how phishing attacks happen. Usually, you will get an email or a message from a website that's leading you to a fake website. Since the fake website is the layout exactly the same as the actual website, the victims maybe won't think too much and go ahead to enter the ID and password. However, once the victim enters the ID passwords on the fake website, attackers can get the credential and immediately log into the actual website with the right ID password. So now you may wonder, how about I set up the SMS code to add an extra protection layer? Well, think the actual website won't know who is logging to your account by using your credentials. Therefore, the real website will send out the challenges, such as SMS or mobile push. So when the attackers log in using the credentials you provide on the fake website, since you are trying to log into a web fake website, you will accept the notification receiving from your phone. However, after you provide the SMS code to a fake website or confirming the push notification, you just also let the attackers take over your account from the real website. Why not adopting a FIDO2 security key? And the FIDO2 security key, how can prevent the phishing attacks? So, because based on the FIDO2 and the web authentication protocol requirement, you need to ensure you are a real person doing it now. The public key is crypto and cannot be shared. And the website you try to log in is the original one. So you may also wonder, FIDO2 is already a very secure protocol. Why biometrics? 
Because using biometric key is not just because you, we are using your register fingerprint as the identification method. It's also because it's a truly passwordless. You don't need to remember any numbers anymore. You can just uh, simply swipe your register fingerprint and then you can log in with a full identity protection. So let's take a step further. Having a FIDO2 server on your own may be a huge investment and a complex. So that's why Microsoft Azure AD is a perfect control platform to take into consideration. And the Authent Translate key work natively with the Microsoft 365 applications, Azure Active Directory, and the hybrid Azure AD joined the Windows 10 devices to get a single sign-on to their cloud and on-premises resource. Matt will provide more details about how Authent Trend and Microsoft work together towards eliminating passwords to enhance security using AT key and Azure AD. Hi everyone, uh, this is Matt from Microsoft. So happy to be here to discuss, um, and thanks Athena for uh, running through why passwordless is so important to counter the sophisticated credential attacks, and uh, again, why biometric solutions are such a great option to enhance the security of the user. Um, as Athena mentioned, phishing is a huge issue, and we highly encourage all customers uh, to move to passwordless solutions. The goal here is to eliminate the attack vector um, and at the same time, we provide a great user experience, um, whether that's Windows Load for Business, Authenticator app, or in this case, Fire Two Security Keys with Often Trend. Um, in the next few minutes, I'll walk through some numbers, um, explain a little bit about what Azure AD can provide, and uh, explain one of our latest features that we've added back in March. So let's hit the, the numbers, and uh, as scary as they might seem, these are real and they affect everyone in, in the community. So data breaches and bulk credential theft are your user's biggest risk. Um, in 2020, there were 37 billion compromised records. Uh, that's nearly a 400% increase from 2019. 81% of these data breaches were caused by weak and reused passwords. Um, and on average, it costs $70 per single uh, password reset. So these really are a, a huge ROI that um, you and your organizations may may feel necessary um, and why why we are really pushing for all of our users and customers to, to move towards passwordless solutions. So let's talk about the identity role in digital transformation. So as we all know, the network perimeter is disappearing. Um, resources are moving to the cloud and on average, uh, a company is seeing an explosion of devices and applications um, with nearly 180 apps used by enterprises. Um, people have multiple identities and they can connect from anywhere using multiple devices. Uh, in this new world, our cloud identity system is your control plane, as we like to call it, um, that connects everything, giving you the visibility in your entire digital estate, ensuring that you only have the right people have the right access to the right resources and really keep the bad players out. Uh, with Azure AD, we want you to be the leading digital transformation to help you and your company get ready for the opportunities in the cloud era and really reinvent the way employees work. Um, and now you can raise your security standards again using Authentrend's ATK um, Pro and ATK Card uh, for biometric identity verification with Azure AD and hybrid Azure AD joined Windows devices. So with our uh, latest announcement of Passwordless GA back in March, um, we released several new features. Um, these are available for both premium and free accounts on Azure AD. Um, one of these features being the temporary access pass, which was put into public preview um, with our announcement at Passwordless GA. So we had a lot of customers asking um, for these types of solutions that would really put a lot of the or take a lot of the stress off IT admins and help desk for onboarding employees and account recovery. Um, so what TAP is, is a time limited passcode that satisfies strong authentication requirements and can be used to onboard um, other authentication methods, including FIDO2. Um, the real beauty of this is that admins can scope this for users and groups. They can set the duration and start time. 
You can make it a one time or multi time use um, that really depends on your organization's requirements. Um, and the benefit of it is it satisfies the MFA requirement needed for FIDO2 and other passwordless solutions on Azure AD. Um, again, this really helps the admin or help desk streamline account creation and recovery. Um, and if you want to test the capabilities of TAP, you can um, begin using this um, with Microsoft Graph or you can begin in the Azure AD portal. Um, I'm going to run through a quick demo of the onboarding experience a new user or employee would see utilizing TAP and FIDO2. Okay, so first the user would go through an identity verification process. Um, this will be determined by each organization. Um, then they would receive their temporary access pass, which you can see highlighted uh, right below the aka.ms slash my security. So that's what the TAP would look like. Um, next, the user would navigate to their office portal to begin their initial login. They would simply sign in with their new organization email. And the beauty here is that they are never entering a password. So from right here, they would enter their temporary access pass where normally a user would be prompted to create a password. Um, obviously, you want to have a complex password in, in this case, but we are really pushing, and this was the goal of TAP, is to eliminate the initial password used by a, by a user. Okay, so they've entered their temporary access pass. They continue on. Again, that is what the TAP looks like. Obviously, it will change for every user. Um, and then they're prompted for um, an additional authentication method. So in this case, the, ad, the uh, admin has selected that they are required to provide a 502 security key. Um, and they would obviously have already received their security key from their organization. They would simply insert their 502 security key into their device or tap it on an NFC reader. Next, they would enter their uh, PIN. And again, they're prompted to take action on the security key. And this can be um, for Open Turn AT Key Pro, AT Key Card would be prompted to put their fingerprint on the reader. Next, they would simply enter a name for their security key. This can be anything they want, but obviously we would want this to be uh, the user's name and maybe Open Turn AT Key or AT Key Pro, um, just to make sure that they are able to track their devices properly. And that is it. It's that simple. Um, from our perspective, this seems to be a very simple um, user experience. Um, it's just like registering a 502 security key on Azure AD portal um, with the benefit of never entering a password. So now the user has access to all of their resources within the, within the organization and they can begin working and enjoying a passwordless experience. Athena, I'll pass it over to you. So thanks, Matt. So as Matt just the demo, Authentron's FIDO2 fingerprint security key is here to work with Microsoft together, providing a biometric matching on chip solution to complete the passwordless strategy. So I will talk more about our product by uh, with ATK Pro and ATK Card. So ATK Pro comes with uh, two different form factors, Type A and Type C. This is the fingerprint enabled USB dangle for U2F and FIDO2, allowing the users to leverage a standard device to authenticate online service in both mobile and desktop environment. ATK Pro is a fingerprint enabled authenticator designed on top of a FIPS 142 Level 3 certified Broadcom credential Volt MCU in an extremely compact size and a fast fingerprint recognition speed. We store the registered fingerprint template and process your fingerprint matching inside the ATK Pro. These credentials cannot be reused, replayed, or shared across the service. With the FIDO2 capabilities, ATK Pro can entirely replace a weak username password credentials with a strong hardware backend credentials. 
and the Authent Translate Key Pro adhere to the FIDO Web Authent protocol that brings about a cross platform solution of a strong authentication without passwords. So, unlike the competing products, Authentron has designed a side mounted fingerprint sensor for the faster fingerprint matching, making it easier for users to log in by using their registered fingerprint from any angle, regardless of device. So, um, the next will be the ATK card. So the ATK card is a unique compatible with the multiple interfaces of, to fit all scenarios. The smart card badge type of a security card can communicate with the host through USB, Bluetooth, or NFC interfaces, including FIDE2 and FIDE U2F. And this enables users to log in with Azure AD in three different ways. ATK card can serve a Bluetooth location tracking for the page owner while also connecting to a NFC reader to enable fingerprint authentication for door lockers, card readers, kiosk, and Azure AD logins. So same as the ATK Pro, the ATK card also comes with a top industry label FOR of less than 2%. And you can match your fingerprint authentication in less than one second. So in addition to FIDE2 and U2F supported, we also treat the user experience as our key design philosophy. So that's the reason we have our patent named Stay Alone Enrollment that allow users to enroll in fingerprint without downloading any application. New users can click the side button on ATK Pro and the or the power button on ATK car quickly three times. The LED indicator will change to white flashing, indicating that you can start registering the fingerprints directly to the key. So it's a significant benefit to IT admins since they don't need to monitor the additional application just, just to enable security keys for employees. So we have prepared a short video to show how easy you can start using your fingerprint and the Azure AD to protect your identity. So let's play the video. So first of all, you need to install the ATK Pro to the power buttons and the power after the power on quickly click the side button three times and it will ask you to identify your register fingerprints first if you already have a one in the key. Once ATK Pro identify your credentials, you can start registering a new fingerprint to the key. Then you can register your AT key to the Azure AD portal. Once you follow the steps to finish the registration, you can start using AT key to log into your device. So see how easy it is you can start using our AT key with the Azure AD to protect your identity. So here is will be the quick summary for adopting Authentron Fido to fingerprint security key with Azure AD. First, it's more secure because Authentron Fido to uh, fingerprint security keys support the PIN code and your biometric identities. Second, the passwordless solution can decrease IT expense, of course, because you don't need to ask your employee to change the passwords anymore. And the last but the last, it's empowering your remote employees to protect their identity and protect your company from phishing issues. The last part, Authentron has co-hosted the passwordless power program with Microsoft, as I mentioned in the very beginning. So with the latest passwords feature released in March, as uh, Matt just highlighted about the top features, we believe a more organization can benefit from leveraging the power program advantage to build their practice and start implementation passwordless infrastructures. So let me like um, mention you about the successful implementation story from Jose University. They joined the Passwordless Power Program last year and successfully implemented the solution in May. 
So the challenges they encountered last year, including the first, the hidden cost to request the student change the passwords every three months. And the second, because of the COVID-19 outbreaks, it is more challenging to check a student's remote learning attendance. So let's, after we have a long discussion, the solution we provide to learn is a student can log in from anywhere safely and the security anytime by using a ticket card with age or AD. So students can sign in the class with using their biometrics FIDO2 security key and support the browser with the system. And the teacher can view the website's attendance records afterwards. So after they done the implementation, the result comes out the first, no more accounts takes over since May, and eliminating the hassle of the password reset while enabling the security control of the data from the campus. And the second, the repeated roll call process is now being improved. So the teacher doesn't need to waste like a 10 or 20 minutes in each classes to do like a roll call process. So the new system with the ATK car and the age or AD help the students learning experience more effectively right now. And the teachers can now manage the attendance more efficiently than ever before. So here is the video about the Jose University. So this is a valid story for uh, for our customer who signed up for the password as a power program and uh, got the successful implementation and a very great result after they do the password as implementation. And here are more quotations we got from the solution providers who joined the passwordless power program and successfully adopt AT key and Azure AD into their passwordless solution, including including OSCC from Belgium, CSP from Australia, HRP from Hungary, Chalkline from UK, and the Airbnb from Italy. So if, all, you, if, if you are the company from local, and you are more than welcome to contact them directly, I also provide their contact information with their quotation. But if you are a company here in the United States, Canada, or you just want to engage with the authentic like directly, please go ahead, drop me an email at athena.jiang at authentron.com, or you can check the uh, live QA section. Jenny also provide 
the password is Purple Green Link in our uh, in the live QA announcement. So you are more than welcome to either drop me the email or just sign up for the Power Program. And Matt and I will handle the password is Power Program enabling uh, pro process with you. So here is the last page for the next step. Please click our event page on bit.li slash msftga and then sign up for the passwordless power program to kick off the passwordless project with us. So, or if you are interested in Ocean Trend Fingerprint Security Key or have any questions regarding the passwordless power program, please feel free to contact with me or uh, contact with our official customer email at uh, contact at authentrend.com. And um, so since we have we still have a time available for the webinar, so let's see if you have any question to the passwordless deployment plan with Authentrend Biometric Security Key with Azure Activity directly. Matt and I will try our best to answer all the questions if any questions which we cannot answer during the webinar, we will follow up with you after the meeting. So let's roll up for the live QA if there is some. So uh, we have uh, one question for Lion. Like uh, he think is great, and he want to get a sample for the card and the key to better understand the demo to customer, and uh, hopefully roll this out to the customer. So yes, we appreciate for your like uh, uh, confirmation, and we love to engage with you. So as I mentioned in the presentation deck, you are more than welcome to contact me directly at Authent uh, at Athena John at Authentrend.com, and I will help you to like set up the um passwordless program the registration process, and I will uh, have a kick up call with you to understand your expectations for the passwordless power program. And as I that's also mentioned to you, if you, yes, uh, so thank you for your email address. We will go ahead to contact with you after the uh, meeting. So, um, any, yeah, so any, any other questions? So Athena, just looking at uh, one of the previous questions, um, it was about Android um, support. Uh, currently, Azure AD does not support Android um, for FIDO2 authentication. Um, it is something that we are working on, but uh, at the moment it is not supported. So just wanted to make that that point clear. I know that it was in one of the previous questions, but yeah, we are working on that support, but at, at this time it is, it is not um, available. Great. So, uh, it looks like we have a couple new questions in the queue as well. Uh, yes, it will work with uh, on-premise Azure AD as long as it is hybrid joint. Um, there are there are obviously many many complexities to uh, on-premise environments, but uh, if, as long as they are hybrid joint, this will work just fine. And then, uh, if you want to reach out, please feel free to email me, um, and I can put you in contact with the right folks. Uh, 
And Matt, I think there is one more from Scott. It's for you. Yeah, uh, Scott, if you want to go ahead and uh, send me an email um, and I can send you a few documents about TAP going through through Graph. Um, we do have a few public documents. Um, let's see if I can find them for you real quick. Um, but if you if you want to email me as well, um, I can reach out with a little bit more detail. Yeah, so um, regarding to the previous question, there is a one from Nayas is asking about the stair available in UAE, Dubai. Um, so as uh, we, uh, so as I mentioned in the deck, like if you can connect with us with your email address, we will connect you with our local partners. So uh, send us other webinars, uh, send us other participants who join this webinar. If you wonder uh, anyone you can work with your local in your local countries, please just uh, drop us the email and we will connect you with the right uh, local partners we work with because we only have like a um, small space to list all, uh, some partners we work with it, uh, through this pilot program, but we still have uh, more local partners work with like uh, listing our official website. So if you are interested in our programs or our products, you are you can just uh, drop in the drop me the email and we will try to connect you to the right partner to work with. So there is a one question about what device was used to enroll the, the fingerprint. The, um, so there is the, uh, so from the um, previous page when we do like a short demos, you can use our patent name stay alone enrollment. You can just click the side button three times and it will jump into the fingerprint enrollment mode. So you can start registering your fingerprints to the key directly. Or if you want to do like a more standard, uh, standardized way, we strongly suggest that you can just uh, do the fingerprint enrollment by the window setting. So you just search a security key and under window setting, they will have a pre, uh, port of, uh, the protocol to allowing you to, to guide you how to insert your key and uh, set up your pin code and uh, register your fingerprint. So once you follow over the step, uh, from the window setting, you can in uh, you can not only register your pin code to the key, also register finish the re fingerprint registration. Then you can use that register card under your Azure AD or your U2F like a, um like a Google account for the U2F authentication. So uh, for that part, uh, after you done that part, the next time when you log into your PC or your personal account, you can start using the Authentrend uh, uh, so, uh, fingerprint security key to do the login. So um, Ron also have a question asking about can users can uh, reset or wipe store the fingerprint data from the devices on their own? Yes, um, 
for the traditional way, you can reject, uh, you can delete or reset your um, fingerprint or entire credential inside the key through Windows sighting. So same, you can just search your security key and under Windows sighting, that will have uh, the security key management portal. You just uh, follow the steps, like uh, follow the steps uh, to finish the entire reciting process. So after you hit the, uh, after the Windows sighting tell you, you are finished the reset of your credential in that key, including pin code and the uh, fingerprints will be removed. Or uh, if you just want to um, delete of your fingerprint, you can also, uh, you can also just delete your fingerprint under the Windows sighting portal. Or uh, we also have the applications allowing the users if they just want to use our fingerprint software to do like a finger fingerprint removed or reset. So either way it works. And we um for the Windows sighting, if you are a Windows device, you can ha uh, you can search that under your Windows sighting. And for the Authent Trans utility, uh, you can check out on our website. We have the download link allowing you to download the software if you prefer to have the software by yourself. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, I think we don't see any further questions. So if you have any further questions that I have no choice, uh, like I ha like after you got, uh, this is the record webinar. So uh, after the meeting, uh, uh, Melissa will send out the deck to everyone. But uh, if you got a chance to review our presentation again or uh, and you have a further questions, please go ahead to drop me an email and I will respond back to you as soon as possible. So Matt and Melissa is hand over back to you. Thank you, Athena. We've had some really great questions asked. I believe that they have all been addressed. I'm going to do one final check. I think we're good to close. Matt, is there anything that you'd like to add before we end our session today? Uh, nothing for me. I really want to thank everyone for attending. Um, I hope everyone got some uh, new information out of this and uh, look forward to any any new customers that want to pilot Azure AD and often trend AT key cards and AT key pro. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, Athena. This brings us to the end of our session today. We did post a link to our survey, so we would love your feedback and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you very much.